Captain Stefan Larsson and I work at the Armed Forces uh, headquarters here in uh, Stockholm and I'm responsible for long-term strategic analysis. Uh, well, I could just quote the uh, NATO strategic uh, concept, the new one from this year, where it says that uh, climate change is a defining uh, challenge to, in our times. And uh, NATO especially stresses that that affects all their three uh, core tasks, so it's very important. Well, since climate change is a defining uh, challenge and, and uh, in our time and in the future, I think it will be even more a uh, challenge in the future. I think NATO has to address this in, in, in many aspects, but not the least when it comes to standardizations and, and uh, uh, doing the new concepts and doctrines uh, that will uh, address those questions. Well, first of all, uh, it's not the armed forces that joins NATO, it's Sweden. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is very important. This is a mental journey for uh, the whole society. And I think it's very important to have a whole government and, and, and institutional approach to this. And, and I think that, that uh, the armed forces and, and the CPRI could work together with this. Uh, so that's, that's uh, one, one key uh, takeaway. And Sweden has dealt with climate change for many years. I think we have done a lot of research, we have uh, thought a lot about it, and in some aspects I think we consider ourselves a little bit like a role model for this. So I think we have a lot of con to, to contribute with uh, uh, to NATO.